Could Celtic be about to sign another Asian player? This time though, not a Japanese star. It could be a South Korean in the name of Chu Gu Song. Welcome back guys to Fog Football. Some transfer news for you today. And it looks like Celtic are ready. They are one of many clubs interested in signing South Korean superstar Chu Gu Song. Now, this guy had a pretty good breakout at the World Cup. He had put in some really good performances. He seems to have garnered a lot of attention, not just with Celtic, but with a lot of other clubs. And he seems to have just became a superstar in South Korea overnight. But there's plenty of other teams, like I said, not called Celtic, interested in his services, including Rennes, Fenerbahce, Borussia Dortmund and Fenerbahce Faros. All clubs are interested in signing the, uh, the talented South Korean striker. But before I say any more about him, I actually signed, and I know this is totally non-related here to real life, but I signed this guy on FIFA a few weeks ago in my heart's career mode. And honestly, He's been absolute shit. Now, I'm not saying he's not a good player in real life, but in FIFA 23, the guy sucks. But fortunately for Celtic, they're not signing him in FIFA. They're trying to sign him in real life. And the asking price for Gunsong is a small, a fair, a reasonable asking price of 2.2 million. We've seen Ange in the Asian transfer market already, and Pretty much every signing he made has been either good or great. Now, we could argue Idaguchi was a poor one, but in fairness, we haven't really seen Udaguchi play. He hasn't really been given an opportunity. He's had injuries. It hasn't really went well for him, but I don't. I wouldn't really go as far as saying Udaguchi is a flop. I just think he's unproven. We haven't really seen what he has to offer. So, it makes sense for Ange to continually go back to the Asian market, especially when they seem to be such... They seem to demand such a small transfer fee for players. It kind of reminds me to the Scottish Premiership where no matter how good players are they just don't seem to go for big money. You know, it's not the same as the English Premiership. You can put the best player in the world in the Scottish Premiership and he's just not going to go for that much because he's playing in Scotland. And that seems to be the same in the Asian transfer market with, like, the Japanese players in, in the J-League and the South Korean League. They just don't seem to demand the, the mega amount of money that other big leagues do. And I get it, it's because their leagues are so-called unproven and they haven't tested themselves at a high level. But still, 2.2 million for Chugun Song, who, like I said, impressed at the World Cup. Uh, it seems like a good deal to me. If he's a flop, he's a flop. But for 2.2 million, you can't go wrong. And I think Celtic would be daft not to try and get his services. And based on how the likes of Furuhashi, Maeda, Hitate have all performed at Celtic, I think that Chugun Song would fit in well. And I think he'd be out of all the teams. Teams, I think Celtic would probably be the number one destination. If he goes to Borussia Dortmund, is he going to be a first team player? Who knows? But at Celtic, if he is going to be the Giamakis replacement, then he's probably at least number two in the pecking order. And who knows? Maybe based on performances, he could be number one over Kyogo Furahashi. But talking about transfers, talking about the Scottish Premiership and small prices, Celtic have now thrown their hat in for Josip Juranovic. They've shown interest for like the past, what, six months, 12 months now? But it looks like they are set to actually submit a bid. Ange Postacoglu's came out and says that he doesn't really think anything of the situation. He's not going to comment until they have a concrete bid. And he says that Juranovic will continue on as normal. Now, it's interesting that Juranovic has not played for Celtic since the World Cup. He's been on the bench, but he hasn't been used. Now, some people are speculating that's because Celtic intend to cash in on Juranovic. They expect him to go early in January. And the last thing Celtic want to do is risk playing Juranovic in case he picks up an injury. So they could, you could argue that they are protecting their product, you know, they are protecting their investment.
investment because they want to get as much money as they can. Josip Ranovic cost the club, what, 2.5 million and there's been talks of around 17 million, 18 million. That's what they're looking for. So that would be a huge profit for Celtic. I think it's worth more than that potentially. But again, you have to factor in that once you're in the cinch premiership, you're just not going to go for big money. The Kieran Tierney went for 25 million, but that's A, you've got to consider that he had three, was it three or four? I think it was four, three and a half. Yeah, let's say three and a half, right? He'd three and a half really good seasons at Celtic where he performed, where he was probably for three, in a, three seasons in a row, he's probably the best player in the league. Plus, he was young when he moved on to Arsenal. He was like, what, 21, 22 max? I think he was 21. I mean, you look at Juranovic and the guy is 27 now and you could argue in his, in his prime years, but at least with Tierney, you've got the case that he's got his whole career ahead of him. Josip Juranovic isn't, doesn't really have that. You know, he's coming into the kind of age frame where he's got like one big contract in him. So again, I just think that 25 million that Tierney got, I think that will be hard to be beaten. And I don't think Josip Juranovic will go for more than 25 million. I think if Celtic can get 20, that would be good. I, I don't see him going for more than that, to be honest. The, the, the rumoured 17 million seems a bit fair to me. That seems a bit right. I've seen speculation that he, he could go for as low as 8. I don't think he'll go for 8. I don't even think Celtic would sell him for 8. I, I, I don't know. He's got three and a half years left in his deal. I think Celtic would hold it for at least double figures before they sell Juranovic. But that's pretty much it for the Celtic news. So it looks like it could be Chu Gu Song in and Josip Juranovic out. But I mean, we pretty much already know that Juranovic is going. It's just a matter of who to and uh, at what point of January. Will he leave? Uh, in terms of Hibs, Lee Johnson has come out and said he plans to stamp his authority on the squad in January. He says that, albeit he's had a lot of disappointing results, that it's partly down to not having the players that he wants to play and the players that like do not work his style and tactical uh, formation. So he's basically blaming results on having players that he didn't choose to sign. And that's fair enough when you, you come in, new manager, I think they need at least a couple of transfer windows, but still, I think this Hibs team is is too good to be losing nine out of 11 games. I don't think that's good enough for Lee Johnson. He talks about stamping his authority. I think he could be getting his P45 stamped, honestly, man, because nine defeats out of 11 just isn't good enough. Across the city in Glasgow, Rangers midfielder Scott Arfield has come out and he's revealed that he is not in talks over a new contract yet, but he wants to stay at Rangers. He said he would love to extend his uh, stay at the Ibrox club. And he said... Once you're 30, you're not an asset anymore. I mean, I, I can see where he's coming from, but let's be real. He's, he's not that old. He's still got a couple of good years to offer at least. So I'd be surprised. And he's been reliable to Rangers. You know, anytime Rangers need a goal, he's pretty dependable. He single-handedly snatched Rangers three points a couple weeks ago against Aberdeen. So for me, I think Scott Arfield is certainly worthy of a contract extension. Uh, Lauren Shankland has been made permanent captain for Hearts at least until the end of the season as Craig Gordon will not be back so yeah Shankland will be the captain for the remainder of this year and that is pretty much it guys when it comes to transfer news again it seems to be Celtic dominating the transfer news whether it be players leaving Parkhead or players coming in you know it seems to be all about Celtic at the moment so yeah Chungun Sung the main talking point will he come into Celtic 2.2 million seems like a cheap deal I'm sure Celtic can afford to pay that and they may as well take a chance or likelihood is he'll be a success and if he's not you could probably at least get the 2.2 million back for him you know so I, I think Ange will do it and he seems to be fond of his Japanese players his South Korean players his wee Asian players I think I think, uh, I think fucking Ange has an Asian fetish to be honest but we'll see we'll see I think Ju Gunsung will probably I, I'd say it's about 60-75% chance of him being a Celtic player and like I said Juranovic will leave will Chelsea be the club to get him maybe with Reese James out injured I guess they could step up their, uh, their intent on signing a new right back and that could be Josip Juranovic. But anyway guys, that's it. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. Any more news coming lately or coming up and we will we'll keep you informed here on Fog Fit. But that's it guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Until then, leave a like, subscribe, comment down below. And I'll see you later. Till then though, peace.